up, guys? Welcome to your Zord tier list updated. So, without further ado, let's get this list started from worst to best in the top eight. So, Goldar is last on the list. Taro, just, ah, uh, where do we get, um, we were all expecting Goldar to do beautiful damage. I now wish I can get my chargers back because they ruined my ro my freaking Goldar. Now I want my chargers back so I can put it into like more of the Metazords, which we'll be showing you in just a minute. But yeah, Goldar ranks number eight on this tier list just because he has two dang shields and they don't connect unless you counter another shield. But the odds of countering another shield is hard enough because not many people turtle and people are waiting for you to attack. So Goldar is number eight on this list of characters to play. Number seven, Black Dragon. Uh, you know, like, even with, like, the boot, it's nice and all, he's much better. Just, like, his ultimate, honestly, just is ass. I mean, the only thing I can say is, like, if they at least gave his ultimate, like, maybe 10 seconds of no damage, I feel like this character will be good to actually fight with. But until then, this character just has his own issues. I mean, too many high-cost moves, all these fives... I mean, maybe if we can put Havoc Laser at 4, Missile Charge at 4, this character could rise on the tier list. But for now, we're putting him at number 7 because he's just ugh, he's just god-awful. He's not awful than Goldar, but he's just he's in the middle. You know what I'm saying? So, number 6, uh, Dino. Still strong, you know, he's still strong, but you know, he does, I guess, slack with when it comes to Breakers. And, you know, a Sarah Tooth Kick can be countered by a Breaker, and you can charge it with another shield attack from all the other Zords. He does go a little ham. I'm just putting him at number 6, maybe, because he has all these attacks, but, you know, you can counter him very easily, depending on the Zord you're using that goes above him. And we're going to go over that, too. But Lightning Blast is doing great damage. Rushing Doubles does amazing damage. And that's a 5 cost. Great Zord. Put him at 6, because... A, he does have jumping thrust, but it costs five, and if you counter it, he did. Sure, he can go into Power Sword, but look at Power Sword. It does, like, no damage now, so that's why he's at six. I have my reasons. All right, let's get to our five. Samurai Megazord's at number five. You know, the update did help him become more of a skillful type Zord, but I find that this Zord is slacking... On the energy cost, especially for his breaker, since it's a slow break, I've seen faster breakers than this. I mean, yeah, the damage is great, but have you seen rushing double? And that thing only costs five, and it's easy to pull off. Where samurai strike, you legit have to work for it. Like, if I can be honest, maybe samurai strike should have just been a strike, and it's got strike in the name. I mean, what if it was a strike? I think it'd be better because then it causes more. Of breakers not countering it or a strike countering it, you know, they would have to actually shield it. I mean, maybe if it comes a strike and it costs five, that would help it out. But as of now, Samurai's not in like one of the top places right now, especially with Bonk and Focus, Eight Assault both being four. The recycling is crazy, so that's why he's at five because he's a little bit more tricky to use and kind of harder to play it in a way. Because you have to pull off Samurai Strike. Now, Samurai Strike now being a great attack that it is, it needs to be a 5 if this character is going to rise on the tier list as well. It's the best way to put it. He just needs a 5 on that, and then everything else will seem fine. 3s, 4s, and 5s. Really good opportunity to make this move a 5. I'm just saying. Number 4. Thunder. Thunder going from 1 to 4 is a big, big change in the game. Big meta change. Yes, people have him maxed out. Parry back at 3 does change a lot since you can do the sword. People parry. They do the sword, wasting energy. And then they try to rebuild it, but if you kind of rush him down, he can't really survive. That's why he's kind of number 4 on this list. Sure, a Lion Surge and Thunderbolt are the two go-tos. It does like good, but it's not enough sometimes. Because, you know, you could counter it. Obviously, they can power punch it to stop it. But again, think about what your opponent's playing. In the higher metas, he can get countered pretty, pretty nicely. So Thunder's number four. He going down from one to three is not that bad. But we're about to go over the top three Zords that now can surpass Thunder if there was equal Zord footing. All right. So start off with number three, Predazord. 
Big rise. Big rise for this character. One, because his ultimate is godly, Javelin Strike into it is now one of the greatest things in this game. One of the greatest, strongest damage outputs in the game for just an ultimate, where you don't have to level up the ultimate. The ultimate will do the damage. He's at three because, yes, he has all these strikes. He has shields and breakers. But a lot of that stuff can be countered depending on what type of Predazord you're fighting. Turtle or aggressive, Predazord does like have that motion on some of the Zords, especially Thunder now. Because now he can get really aggressive with Thunder. With Thunder's three cost, prayer being a three cost, uh, Predazord can get in on him really bad. He's good now. Wild Tailspin now doing more damage. Gator Staff having Sun is good. That's the best thing about it. So now that this character kind of went up on damage on that wild tailspin, it rose him up on the ladder and on the tier list. So Predator is definitely something meta in the works. So now our top two Zords. Number two is going to Dragon Zord. Now hang on a second. Don't, don't kill me for putting this dude at two. Let me tell you my reasons and I'll tell you why. One, yes, he's a great sword. Yes, he has fours and a three and a great shield that causes stun. And Missile Storm and the Tail Stinger doing all that free damage. But you gotta keep in mind, he if he fights anything else that's a rushing zord, Dragon Zord could face a struggle. He's his own rush zord himself. That's why he has that three Tail Stinger and all that. Dragon Frenzy setting him up and Front Kick doing more of the damage. But keep in mind, all this costs four, so if he starts getting rushed down, he's going to start losing momentum. So you want to make sure you do do a lot of things with Dragon Zord, and that'll help him out. He passes Thunder in a lot of ways, as you can tell from my streams. He does get in on Thunder pretty hard, since he's a, such an aggressive character. He, gets, he can destroy Thunder in a matter of seconds. He actually is a really good Zord. He's definitely in the top two for a reason. The only reason I put him at number two is because the next sword can rush him down pretty nicely. And the reason for that is now that Justice Lance at four, he can counter Dragon Zord on damage and purple. And that sword is Delta. Delta's number one, man. I'm telling you right now, right when I said just if Justice Lance just went to four, he would definitely be meta. A, because now you can go into SPD double slash. Now, my theory for this one was that since you can Justice Lance and only cost you four, you're not losing a lot of energy. A lot of his attacks are threes and fours, and that helps him out. Especially SPD Double Slash, giving him purple, giving him crits, and his ultimate is good to boot. Because you can get back up from that Tommy denial and just go ham with the shots. SPD now kind of rose in my heart as a great Zord. They just need a better deal for him so people can level him up. Predazord, a good deal to level him up. And those are like your top three Zords right there. Fighting on the ladder, more unique than just a plain old Thunder. So I like Delta for this reason. He definitely feels a lot better. Has that Justice Lance for Dragon Zord. Countering Dragon Zord when he can with the stab. Because the stabbing is pretty fast, and if Dragon Zord counters with a headbutt, well, you counter with a Delta Strike or a Crime Seed Tape. Because you're A, your opponent's going to be in a strike animation. You're going to use Justice Lance. They're going to use their shield. You use your SPD Double double Strike. Your Delta Strike or your Crime Seed Tape. Anything that stops the shield, because it's doable. It's because Delta has that rushdown, which puts him at number one over Dragon Zord, and a little over... Um, Predazord, because A, he can do the same thing against Predator. Predator uses a shield. Predator's doing a strike. He uses Justice Lance. He uses Gator Staff or a shield. And SPD uses a breaker to counter him. That's how it's always going to be sometimes for SPD. SPD has a really good counter against a lot of those Zords at the bottom of him. So now it's like a really interesting Zord to kind of play. Now he's better than Samurai, because now Samurai has to worry about that four, and Delta can keep rushing down like a great rushdown Zord he is. So that's going to conclude with our tier list, guys. Thanks for watching. I know you guys have different opinions, but I'm just going by like straight facts on how I see the Zords and how which one can counter who. It'll always depend on the situation. But thanks for watching, guys. Peace out. I'm your boy, Wolf Thunder. I'm signing out. Big special shout out to our boy, Psycho Challenger, Mr. Kyle Weller, and our master dude, Marcus Weary. So peace out, guys. Be good. Stay safe. And I'm glad I can bring you this Zord updated tier list.